So hi everyone and welcome to this video on a monopolist output choice, their marginal revenue, and their price elasticity of demand. So these are key concepts to understand when we're dealing or talking about how a monopolist would opt to operate in a particular market. So from the last few videos, we emphasized that the first order condition for a monopolist would be uh, essentially derived or boiled down to its marginal revenue being equal to its marginal cost. And from before, we derived a form of marginal revenue which can be expressed as PQ uh, times 1 minus 1 over the elasticity of price, which is essentially uh, appealing to this FOC equal to our marginal cost. Okay, because this is MR and it should be equal to MC at equilibrium. Okay, now we assume that this is always greater than zero. And the, the main reason is that uh, at equilibrium, uh, MC is always non-negative because in order for a firm to produce, it must entail some cost. Okay, so at equilibrium, okay, that expression there is greater than or equal to zero. Okay, now since the price okay, is also non-negative, of course, then the only value of QM that can satisfy the preceding is that the elasticity of price must be greater than or equal to 1, which means that it is on the elastic portion of the demand curve because this uh, expression here precludes elastic demand. So we're going to explain that graphically in the next uh, slide. And because of this, the monopolist will never choose an output and price in the inelastic range of market demand. So it will never choose one okay, at that range. Okay, so uh, let's sort of illustrate it here. Okay, so we have two curves here, okay, uh, a marginal revenue curve and uh, a demand curve. And we're gonna draw, okay, we're gonna draw the total revenue curve. So uh, if I try and draw that out, okay, so the total revenue curve, okay, notice has a, a big relationship, of course, with marginal revenue. So uh, if you notice from here to here, okay, marginal revenue is positive. And from here to here, okay, from here to, uh, well, essentially going down further, marginal revenue is negative. Okay, now when marginal revenue is positive, then total revenue is also positive or is increasing. Okay, so it's, uh, I'm sorry, not positive, but it's just increasing. So it looks something like this. So it will be increasing. Okay, it's increasing until that point where in marginal revenue is equal to zero. Then it already starts decreasing after that point. So we call this uh, total revenue. Okay, now... Uh, let's illustrate something. So I'm going to draw a line, okay, which bisects this one at this point. So when marginal revenue is equal to zero, okay, so I'm going to draw a line. Okay, and notice we're at the very, very top of total revenue. Okay, so we're going to draw that line and extend it here. Okay, now what you what you notice is that that orange line that we drew, it bisected the demand curve into two. It bisected it in this portion, so we have one portion here, and we have one portion here. Okay, now, what you'll notice is that uh, this portion here is actually the elastic portion, and this portion here is the inelastic portion. Okay, so again, we have one portion which is inelastic, okay, and one portion that is elastic. Now, suppose, okay, the, again, the goal of the monopolist is, of course, to maximize profit. And to do that, it needs to increase revenues. Now, at some point, okay, in order for it to increase revenues, it would need to sell more products. And to sell more products, okay, because the demand curve it faces is downward sloping, it would need to decrease its price. So when we are at the elastic portion, okay, as price decreases, okay, so as price decreases, okay, what happens is total revenue still increases. So it's essentially here. Even though price is decreasing, but you're selling more, okay, 
total revenue is still increasing. Okay, now at the inelastic portion of the demand curve, okay, price is decreasing because you want to sell more units, but at this point, okay, total revenue is already declining. So you're already starting to see a decline. And you'd, of course, a monopolist wouldn't want lower total revenues, even if it produces more output. So this is not optimal for a monopolist. And therefore, it wouldn't choose, okay, it wouldn't choose to sort of supply, okay, when you are already at the inelastic portion of the demand curve. And that's essentially the reason why the monopolist produces at the elastic portion of its demand curve. Okay, and since it's the only firm in the market, it's the market demand curve, of course. So what are the key takeaways that we can sort of uh, get from this? So let's just derive something. If you recall, right, remember uh, this form here was our form earlier for marginal revenue. So when we plug in QM in, in equilibrium, we know that MR is equal to MC. And we can essentially rearrange this to get an expression that's sort of uh, quite interesting. So uh, let's simplify this. So we have uh, MC QM that's equal to, so notice I can distribute PQM here. So that's PQM minus PQM over uh, the price elasticity of the monopolist. Okay, there. Then uh, we can rearrange this. So I'll bring this to the other side and I'll bring this to this side. So I get P Q M over elasticity of the monopolist equal to uh you have here P Q M minus M C Q M. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply both sides, okay, by one over P times q one over pqm or just the price in general okay and i'm gonna be left with um so this one and this one will cancel out right so we're gonna be left with one over the price elasticity of the monopolist being equal to pqm minus mc qm over p q m okay and in general, okay, uh, this form here is quite useful in the analysis of a monopolist in that uh, this essentially uh, corresponds to the learner index. And we'll discuss more about that in the next video. Okay, so this corresponds to the learner index. But for now, uh, we just want to emphasize a few insights. So first is that when market demand is less than infinitely elastic, i.e. horizontal line at QM, then the elasticity of price of the monopolist will be finite, right? Of course, it's solvable. So you can solve this expression there. And the monopolist's price okay, will exceed marginal cost in equilibrium. Okay, that's for the case of a monopolist. Now, in a perfectly competitive market, price would equal marginal cost in the equilibrium. But in a monopolist, it's marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. And we also find that Setters Paribus, all things held constant, the price will exceed okay, marginal costs by a greater amount the more inelastic uh, market demand uh, ends up being. So these are a few insights on a monopolist output choice and the elasticity of price okay, that it would experience. In the next video, we're going to tackle more about the concept of the learner index, which we introduced here. So thank you for your attention.